My name is Barbara Berrigan Perea, and I'm Executive Director with Restore the Delta. Today I want to talk with you about what causes HABs, what we can do about it, uh, and what does it mean for us in terms of public health here in the Delta. So here are the major conditions that cause harmful algal blooms, which we refer to in shorthand as HABs. First, nutrient loads from discharge. That means when we do different industry things, we discharge into water. Second cause is warm water. We have warmer temperatures in our waterways because of climate change. Our summers are getting warmer, and so we don't have as much cold water to release. Third, still water. Uh, when we do not have sufficient flow through the delta, our waterways are still, they don't move, and that creates conditions for harmful algal blooms. Fourth condition is bright light. Uh, that's why you see them developing more often in the spring, summer, and into the fall. Not all algae is actually a hab. Algae grows in waterways. It's a natural part of aquatic food webs. Habs more often are referred to as blue-green algae. Sometimes they're different colors though. And they're made up of a cyanobacteria, most often microstasis, which uh, could cause health problems in people and fish and wildlife. Habs are a problem in Delta waterways because we're seeing them appear year after year, particularly in about the last seven years in increasing numbers. And that's because uh, conditions uh, are ripe for them to kind of grow and expand. People are asking why uh, harmful algal blooms are getting worse even in wet years. And that's because we had a lot of discharge. You have to remember the Delta is at the bottom of watersheds that drain. Um, so all the pollutants uh, throughout the year that were upstream got pushed downstream with the heavy water, uh, particularly in the month of May. So we had uh, E. coli from up and down the watershed that was pushed into the Delta. We had our own local spill. Uh, we had problems with uh, discharge from agriculture coming off land with heavy water. So all the, pollu all the pollutants came down and, and ended up in the Delta. And at the right after that happened, it started getting very warm outside. So then the water became still once it reached the bottom of the watershed and it heated up. And we had lack of flow at that time starting in June and all the bright light uh, it makes for perfect conditions um, for the development of harmful algal blooms. Here's what we could do um, as a society to solve the problem of harmful algal blooms. Everybody is going to have to work on the solution to this problem to protect our waterways because one way or another we are all contributors to the pollution that caused the conditions. We need to work on uh, eliminating and cleaning up agricultural discharge. We all eat. Farmers work with the tools that they are given to farm with so we can't necessarily blame them but we have to promote best practices so that nitrates don't up and end up in our waterways. Second, we have to have better boating practices. Boaters have to discharge properly, not just directly into our waterways. We need to clean up our marinas uh, so that we can eliminate E. coli. Third, we have to work on relocating our homeless population away from our waterways. People who are stuck and don't have housing are using our waterways as a place of sanitation. Uh, they're not the main uh, contributor to pollution. We understand that their discharge is about a 5% difference in overall pollution, uh, but they're the people who have to live with these conditions uh, near the harmful algal blooms, and so we need to work together and help get them relocated and properly situated. This is what we need from the state. We need more freshwater flows through the Delta. We need to make sure that we have enough flow, especially in summer and in the fall, not just to protect fisheries, but to protect public health, to keep water clean and moving uh, and at temperatures cool enough so that algal blooms uh, do not proliferate.